So welcome back to Simple Life with Rod Pusateri. Driving, so I'm not going to be looking at the camera a whole lot. I'm just going past a very famous, on the East Coast anyway, Mid-Atlantic, going past a very popular wing place uh, franchise. <clears throat> I used to frequent that wing place for years, for years, it was, um, I would go there and get a batch of their, uh, spicy barbecue wings with the blue cheese and celery and, um, and I would get, a lot of times I'd get a, uh, a batch of deep fried mozzarella sticks, breaded mozzarella sticks as well. And, uh, so I just thought, you know, hey, I just drove past it, brought back memories. So when you ask, hey, Rob, what did you do in your whole life to cause yourself to have a heart attack last year? Well, I've been a little over a year now. What did you do to cause yourself to clog two, two major arteries, major coronary arteries, block them 100%. What'd you do? So that's what I just drove past that spot. And uh, that's what I did. I walked past people uh, outside of a grocery store or outside of a Walmart where I just was. Uh, people are considerably overweight and smoking cigarettes and just brings back memories. I mean, not that I was ever really overweight. I thought I was pretty strong, whatever, stout. I never, never looked at myself as overweight, although I'm 30 pounds lighter now than I was when I had a heart attack 13 months ago. Um, get a little warm in here. But I look at them smoking cigarettes and I thought, man, if somebody told me, actually there's a car right in front of me, the cigarettes flicking it out the window. And I thought, from the, I started smoking cigarettes when I was young and really started smoking steady by the time I was 15 years old and I smoked cigarettes um, I'd have to I'd have to figure that one out but I'm going to say for between 15 to 20 years I smoked a pack to a pack and a half of cigarettes a day and when I used to get drunk all the time which I got drunk I drank in excess daily for a good 15 years. Uh, it was normal for me to drink eight or nine beers after work every day. Every day. And then I got drunk on the weekends. And so I'm, I'm looking at all that and, and I was smoking. I'd smoke heavier when I drank. And all that stuff, it, uh, it catches up with you. It caught up with me. And I was one of the, I, I'm one of the, uh, the lucky ones. I've got people that I went to school with, friends that I went to church with, friends that I went to church with who didn't even uh, smoke or drink in excess or anything like that. Um, I weren't even stressed out. It just ended up having a heart attack, dying. I lived. I was... I'm one of the fortunate ones that the Lord allowed to live. And, uh, and why is that? <clears throat> I think, I think it's because I'm a mouthpiece. Everything that, uh, sorry for all the shaking, man, I'm driving. Everything that, um, that I find very important to say, I say it. I put out videos, I put it out there to all of the, uh, on, on my, you know, here on YouTube, but I also put it out on Facebook, social media. 
if you came up to me and told me when I was in my mid-20s that you need to stop smoking and drinking, boy, you're killing yourself, I'd laugh at you because I didn't care. I didn't have the forethought or foresight to care. Now here we are. But I'm one of the fortunate ones. I just went on a walk. I uh, walked a mile and a half. I did, like I said, it's only been 12 days since my bypass surgery, since heart surgery. I, I just walked a mile and a half, uh, 16 and a half minute mile pace. Felt like I could have gone a lot faster and a lot stronger, but I'm not push. I'm not going to overdo it. I uh, did manage to get my heart rate up to 132 beats a minute. There for just a, a you know, just a, real quick. It actually took me by surprise when I looked down. But I just want to put it out there again. If you're watching this video, if you're smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol in excess, eating wings on a regular basis, deep fried wings, nothing wrong with eating them cooked over on your own grill and stuff like that, but if you're eating them deep fried like I was with those deep fried breaded mozzarella sticks, man, you're good. I miss them. Washing it down with the beer, yeah, I miss it. But it's not a part of my life anymore. So now I'm going to go home and slice up some chicken breast, make some quinoa, and uh, with beef broth, have an avocado. <laughs> it's good, man. It's all good. You season it right, you cook it right, it's good. And it don't clog my arteries. But yeah, I just wanted to bring it out, put it out there again. When I was young, I didn't care. Praise God. He let me uh, let me live through it. Within another couple weeks, I'm supposed to be stronger than I've been in a long, long time. I've got clear plumbing, as they call it, and uh, I should be able to go full force. In about two more weeks, I should be able to go full force, man maybe for three weeks, go full force and start splitting firewood, carrying it, stacking it, um, get back to work, get my, uh, my brisket, my pork butt smoked, start making money again, it's kind of important, <clears throat> but at my own pace, I'm not killing myself anymore, just not going to do it. But I just want to share that with you. I don't want to ramble on. If you've lived the life that I lived, if you've eaten all the junk food, drank excessive amounts of alcohol, smoked cigarettes, or even if you haven't, go get yourself checked. Go visit a cardiologist. Get a stress test done. Um, maybe uh, calcium score and see what's going on because not everybody is as lucky as me or as fortunate as me I know several I know several who just died didn't have any warning signs just died and my uh precious sister-in-law, her twin brother, um, just left, just, uh, not even two weeks ago, went to bed, didn't wake up, and I don't, I don't even know if he was even 50 yet, but <clears throat> I've been, I'm, I'm one of the fortunate ones, I'm one of the lucky ones. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm 
I'm going to sound the trumpet. I just posted a video on what I usually eat for breakfast, what I usually eat for lunch. Yep, today I had another big salad. Wonderful salad and a can of sardines because I needed some protein because I was getting ready to go on a mile and a half walk. And I had plenty of energy. The food tastes good. Polished it off with a nice piece of dark chocolate. Um, 90% dark chocolate. That's what I do. And uh, anyway, I'm home now. I just want to share that with you. So, again, please do all that YouTube stuff. Like the video. Um, share it. Comment on it. Ask any questions you'd like to ask. And, uh, yeah, if you would, please subscribe to the video. It really helps me as well. Um, and it helps get the, the more people subscribe. The more people who like the videos, comment on them, the more the video gets out in circulation, the more people see it. And uh, hopefully, possibly, we can save somebody's life. God bless you all. See you on the next one.